What's up everyone, Suki here and today we're gonna find out easy ways to farm gold, money, Yoshi stacks. I hope this video will help everybody, draw your school mind, let's jump into the dark anchor. The Batnik. For sure when you think about money and material farming, Batnik is probably one of the first place that comes to head. A small island where going around, you get all the materials in less than 10 minutes. Over here you have the starting point, on the right side, near the bridge, you're gonna go all the way up, always by the edge, going by the beach, going around, until you get back to the starting point. To do this you can do with a normal character, but if you have a farming build it's a way easier, cause you're gonna run faster to gather materials. Then here we are on the end. We made about let me check 35 iron ore, 33 rubidite ore, 23 platinum dust, 17 pewter dust, 44 ruby maple, and 45 ruby ash. You can refine this material to get to try to get um, the golden tempers or you can just make a stack of 200 and sell them depending on which plus top farm you're making you can discover which one makes the better money here on the ps4 the best you can do is refine and get a temper for for the rugal the rug maple and the rug, ruby ash and for the iron ore and rubidite ore as the temper is going really cheap you make more money if you sell the stack of the raw material itself. It took us about 4 minutes to do the full rotation. When you think about Khajiits, you think about money, about stealing and killing. And it's not different on the second spot to farm materials. It's in Reaper's March. You travel to the Willow Grove Way Shrine and then you come to here. You come to the Hadron's Caravan. In this spot, you have a lot of NPCs. There's normally people around here farming. Basically, you're gonna join the group or you're gonna make your own group if you're alone here, of course. You're gonna have to go into options and allow your character to hurt NPCs. And then what you do is you take all those NPCs. Then you only gonna save on your inventory the green ones. And of course blue and purple and golden. Each of those it's a hundred. You can sell on a level zero legendary man character 40 of those per day. If you unlock the next level, you're gonna do 110 which makes 11,000 per character and this takes about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, mostly, even less. And then you're gonna sell that on the fence 
on the route car. And then you can do that with all your characters. So the easier way to do this is to make a secondary account on your PSN, two, three accounts. Do on all the eight characters, that's 80,000, plus 80,000, plus 80,000, how many, many accounts you have to be doing this. It's definitely an easy way to do money. And if you have people here, you don't even have to do anything. For sure, when you think about orcs, ogres, or anything you want to call them, it's not about money. But about a really ugly ew monster. But well, these guys over here and Shinji Scarp can help you in a big time to make money. You do the exactly same rotation. farming a character over here what you're gonna do is you're gonna farm you're gonna delete all the trash things you're just gonna let the weapons in your inventory and then you put your merchant or you go down here if you don't have a merchant of course you can't come down here. Sell everything you get it. All the weapons that you get from killing the orcs. 76, 76, 78, 78, 20. That's about already 400 just from those trash ones we got. So the more you make, the more money you're gonna be making here. Well, that's it guys, I hope you guys like it. Of course, there's other ways to make gold, like speedrunning through dungeons, for example, Fungla Grotto 1. And each time you complete, you're gonna have around three to 4,000, but you're gonna need a merchant to sell all the items you're gonna get from the drops. You can sell motifs from DLC, latest DLCs uh, released dungeons that goes around from 40 to 100,000 and even more, depending on which platform you play. You can, of course, join some veteran trials, even the Craglorn one for beginners, they work too because they drop plunders, they got other stuff that you can drop over there to sell to the players they are over there to pay for the items. So I hope that helped everyone to make a great incoming for this December and for the next time you guys play Yezo. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and we'll see you on the next video. See you guys!